up YouTube? It's Kim and today I have a guest star, one of my best friends, Denise. Hi. Who's also one of me and Lori's biggest supporters. Um, so we we're having a little lunch date today so I figured, hey, let's see if she'll do a little guest spot on uh, Kim and Lori's channel. So thank you so much for doing a little video with me. Thanks for having me. Yes. <laughs> And um, like I said, you know, one of our biggest supporters, she's on her own journey to get healthier. So do you want to tell a little bit about maybe your past and, you know, what you're trying to do? Sure. Um, I think uh, growing up, you know, I was always a little heavy, um, you know, up and down a little bit, but, you know, not too bad. But once I got to high school and I had moved away, I had actually gained a lot of weight, um, realized the following year. You know, I really shouldn't weigh that much, so my mom actually used to bake meals for me. So instead of going wow. to like, going to a restaurant and getting fries, she would actually make it from potatoes and she would bake them. Wow. And she would make me bake chicken and stuff, and I would do my, you know, video workouts. Um, I didn't know many people when we had moved away, so um, were you sweating to the oldies? I, was, <laughs> I totally was. was. You know what I actually used to do? Cindy Crawford workout. Wow. <laughs> Every day on my <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I did that every day, and I wound up losing um, about 30 pounds. Wow. And then we had moved back, um, you know, to New York, and gra actually graduated with my friends and stuff. And, you know, when you get in relationships and different things, and even in college, it's like you start putting on weight, and then it just keeps coming and coming. And, you know, it, it gets to a point where it's like I got to do something mm -hmm. about it. So when, around the time we got married... That's when I started going back to Weight Watchers. Two thousand and five. Yep, old fibers for life. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's how we met, by the way, on yeah. a wedding website. Funny enough. And Lori too. And Lori too. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we. Uh, so yeah. So I had lost a bunch of weight for the wedding, and then you know you're in love and you mm -hmm. get married and you start putting on weight again. So you know, and then after having kids, you know, I have an eight year old son. Um, you know, it's it's hard to get the weight back off. Yeah. So now. You know, so now in this part of it, I'm trying to do a lot of moderation and eating healthier and, you know, not restricting anything, but just not going crazy either. Mm -hmm. um, trying to do that for my family also. And, uh, and you love Zumba. And I love Zumba. Shake it, shake it, shake <laughs> yeah, it. The British doctor, but it's so well, fun. Well, I have to do another video and you show us some moves. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to scare the people away. <laughs> But no, it's a lot of fun. You, I don't know what I look like, but it's a lot of fun when I do it. So, so in this journey right now, do they Roger Rabbit at the Zumba? No, Denise no, is fun. known for her world famous Roger Rabbit. Oh move. no way, no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple drinks in me, maybe. <laughs> no, so this time I'm down. You know, I think about eight and a half pounds. Awesome. So, you know, trying to get the rest, and you mm -hmm. know, glad I'm keeping up with you guys. And some motivation. And yeah, yeah. No, and I think you're doing fabulous. <laughs> and you definitely motivate me. Well, you guys will motivate me every week with all your videos. Thank so. you. I know. And you're my friend. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing I wanted to talk about, and Lori had a great idea. We'd love for you to do another video, like a cooking video. Sure. And like, because I know you get um, the CSA stuff, but maybe you can uh, explain a little bit about the CSA. And sure. So um, a CSA is a community supported agriculture. So basically what it is, is that um, there's a farm on Long Island out east. There are a bunch of different farms, but the one we belong to, um, it's an organic farm out east. They have drop off locations all over Long Island and you pick up once a week. You don't get to pick, you know, what you get. You kind of mm. get whatever the harvest is. Um, some weeks you get a little more, some weeks you get a little less. It's kind of you buy into the shares of the farm so that they can keep going. But if they do well, so do you. Um, cool. But it, it's kind of brought us all different vegetables we never would have heard of before. Um, you know, kind of broaden our horizons on that too. And, you know, we get to eat healthier and, mm -hmm. you know, it's all organic stuff. So And we totally, like, sweat all your meals. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm making some shallots <laughs> and, you know, fresh zucchini with... Some whatever you Well, make. like I had never heard of kohlrabi before, and it's like one of our favorites now. So yeah, and even um, you know, they basically pick all the the fruits and vegetables. It's mostly vegetables, but we get some fruits. Um, they they pick them basically like the day before, so it's super fresh, and it's even like we when we get the watermelons, best watermelons I've ever had. Mm, so. I know. I remember you showing us like the little mini ones you get. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. flavor is like and amazing. the strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. They're ridiculous. But mm -hmm. even the zucchinis, like it kind of ruined me for uh, grocery store salads. <laughs> because they just don't taste the same. Yeah, once you have like 
you know, fresh grown from the farm, it's hard to go, you know, right. grocery store. Yeah. So what would you say is your favorite um, uh, foods that help you on your journey? My favorite foods. Okay, so one of the... One of the things that's actually helped me a lot is that we, we used to do a lot of potatoes and things. My son actually has trouble gaining weight, so sometimes we try to add something. Don't we all wish you had that issue? I know, right? <laughs> but, but anyway, but for us, so what I've been doing, what I started doing, especially with the CSA, is trying to find a use-up for different vegetables. I've been taking, like, turnips or kohlrabi, if you want to look that one up. Um, and, uh, you know, we just cook it the same way we would a potato. So even, you know... I gotta admit, I mean, I try to do everything in moderation, so I'll take some of the um, the butter that that's from grass-fed cows, and I'll put some butter and parsley and some salt after I, you know, boil the turnips, mm -hmm. corn, whatever. It's it's amazing, and it's so good. The flavor's great. That's something that's helped me a lot from there, too. That's a great alternative. Yeah, and also the other thing right. is that if you ever, um, you know, good use up for vegetables, too, is, is grilling stuff. Even if you grill your salad, I mean, you can grill lettuce, like everything, you can grill it all and then just like throw the it veggies you grilled the other day. Yeah, a picture. Yeah, yeah, I grilled some kohlrabi and some zucchini, and I think we had put it with some steak, and mm -hmm. we're all good. So awesome. Yeah, and you brought a special I um, did. little treat to do an <laughs> on-camera test review. So what so, is it? Okay, so what it is? It's um, it's called a rice roller. I get them at Costco. Check it out. It's kind of it's kind of a la Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> It's kind of like a Rice Krispie treat, mm -hmm. but it doesn't use marshmallows or anything else. It's like lightly sweetened, mm -hmm. so don't expect a big sugar rush. <laughs> um, it's just supposed to be, you know, it's a little more satisfying. It has a crunch to it. Okay. Kind of crumbles with it, so. All right. Well, but, I don't know, we like them. Mmm. It's like a rice cake. It's like a rice cake, but I think like a little, I don't know, to me they're a little bit better than a rice cake. It has like a nice sweet, right? Answer. It's a natural sweetness. I don't have the package, or else I'd give you all the information. But yeah, I get them at Costco. I'll look it up. Just Costco rice rollers when you get home. This way, I can, I'll put the um, calories and Weight Watcher points in the description below. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. We like them. It's you know, it's nice mm. and crispy yeah. instead of eating a potato chip or something else. It's kind of a good alternative. So. Yeah. No, definitely. I wouldn't. <laughs> One time she brought me chia seeds to try. <laughs> I wasn't. Well, it was the chia pudding. Pudding, yes. And just something about the consistency I wasn't down with. But these I would definitely try. Yeah, because they have a nice sweetness. Yes. So it's not just a plain, like, And the crunch. Rice. I like crunch, too. Yeah. Awesome. So, cheers. Thank you. <laughs> cheers. So, get these at Costco rice rollers. And, um... Yeah, so thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks so much and for hopefully having me. we'll get you because doesn't her cooking sound amazing? Oh yeah. No, we get me started <laughs> on the homemade pizza she makes. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. All right, everybody, thumbs up if you like our video and stay fit and fabulous. Bye. Bye.